to his bite to come back. And he did. And he did. Oh yeah. This is a nice one. Oh my gosh, this is about to break my rod. What's up, bassers out here at the pond waiting on my buddy to get here and go ahead and get started for myself. Uh, I'm going to start off probably with a fluke. We're going to see how that does. Water's looking a little bit, a little bit chocolate milky, as y'all can tell. I hope those dogs ain't like that the whole time. These rod straps come in handy. This is a... Uh, yeah, this is five rods and I'm holding them pretty easy. Uh, I mean, you could do that if you bundled them all up just like this and carried them. But them rods, they keep them intact. You can throw them in your truck, throw them in your car, do whatever and they're good to go. There's the fluke I'm going to start off with. Kind of a green pumpkin-y, darker green pumpkin and with a little red tail. We're going to see how that does. Just trying it out. If it don't work, we'll change the color up on it. Just tied this up last night. I'm gonna get this fluke put on there pretty straight and gonna tuck it in a little bit and be good to go. Just casting like wildfire over here. But yeah, I don't really have much confidence in this. Y'all watch, I throw on a drop shot and I'll catch one. Y'all think I can cast out there and hit it? Look, I'll cast right on it. All right, if I cast directly on this turtle, y'all have to give me a subscribe. If I don't, then, you know, y'all don't even have to watch the video, but I'm gonna cast right on it. Nowhere close. Y'all should still subscribe, though, for real. Alright, they ain't biting it, don't keep throwing it, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how I feel about it. Give them a little different bait fish presentation here. Give them that old Matt Allen jig head with a Kitek. this all these times man that's told y'all that's some dirty water right there brand new line come on now now i'm gonna throw around a drop shot and i guarantee i guarantee you i'm gonna get bit and i'm just gonna stick to that all day and that's why i do it because you know, why not you know what i'm saying why not i'm gonna throw around my little a little crappy jig that I tied up a little bit later too, I'm sure. A combo that just so many people hate on, the drop shot. I mean, now, if I catch a fish first cast, that just shows y'all that pressured fish, this is exactly how you catch them. I have thrown all over, I've thrown over there too. But if they bite on this, and that just shows you need to be using this bait. If you don't have this bait in your arsenal, you need a arsenal that was really redneck or country or northern or something. Arsenal.
I can see there's fish moving over here, so if I don't catch nothing on this cast this way, I'm gonna go back over here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, yeah. Alright, G. Alright. Alright. Later. Nathan on the way in a minute. I don't know if that was a bite right there. He messed me up. I'm gonna blame him. No. If it was a bite, it'll come back. And he did. And he did. Oh yeah. There he is. Told y'all if it was a bite he'd come back. First cast. Try not to horse him too much and get him out of that mud there. But guys, what did I tell y'all? Come on now. Come on now. Y'all gotta smash that subscribe button now. First cast. Zoom trick worm with a chartreuse tip. Caught that little slab there, maybe close to a pound. I'll get a good little release on him. I ain't gonna flop him back out there because I know that my wife don't like it at least. She'll be like, why'd you throw that bass so hard? We'll get a nice little release on this guy. There he goes. As Navi would say, no floaters. Well, it weren't on camera, but I got a nice little bluegill here on that missile bait bomb shot and that red belly color. He was playing with him. Let's see if we can get him off without getting stuck here. That's a nice one. We'll catch them all, man. And nice colors on them, too. I ain't gonna flop him back out there. Boop. Nice. Oh, he come off, man. Had him on my little... Got us one. Nice little, probably a pounder. Pound and a quarter, something like that. On the drop shot. Look at that, perfect hook set right on top of the mouth. Can't beat that. Nice little chunk. Let's go ahead and get him back out there. Nice little chunk. Felt him load up on the rod. Set him off. She'll be like, why'd you throw that bass so hard? He got, he got my worm though. Oh no, it's right here. I'm gonna switch that drop shot bite up a little bit. Let's use these Jolly Bait Company Helgramites, if I can ever get it right to say it right. Looks really good, them colors. It's uh, 
I think it's nothing but glitter. It's just clear, just clear like plastisol and nothing but glitter to give it the color. This bait, I mean, the Helmer Grey, you're just, you're just going to have to go slow with it. I mean, you got to think it's a, it's a bug with a bunch of legs, so it's not going to be flying across the bottom. I wish that cow would not be making so much noise while I'm trying to talk to y'all, but you know, it's, it's not going to be moving across the bottom so fast. So you're just going to kind of have to drag this bait probably like the Guggen bait drop shot pack, drag and drop. I mean, that's kind of a drop shot. It's one, one way to fish a drop shot, but I like, I like popping a drop shot, but this is, this is probably going to be one of them drag ones, I'd say, but it's the first cast with it. So we'll see how it does. No takers on that one. Let's get it far out there and just let it sink to the bottom. Well, as far as I can get that weight, some of that slack in. And just let it sink to the bottom. You can really wait as long as you want to. Probably might be a fish on there when you go to reel it in. What did I tell you? This is a nice one. Oh my gosh, it's about to break my rod. Dude, this is a nice one. It's about to break my rod. Oh, it's about to break the ugly stick. Don't run so fast. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get out of that. Oh, yeah. Swallow it, that helm permite. Swallow it, that helm permite. Yes, sir. On the drop shot. No more helm permite. Second cast get this out of her and let's uh go get her on the scale so it's uh always twenty incher on the dot let's get her on the scale scales on and zeroed out get her hooked in there Three eighty-five, three point eight five. What she weighs. So I went ahead and retied after that one, and I noticed that I didn't get my release on that bass. The GoPro must have been recording, and I cut it off by accident and thought I was recording. So, but the bass did run off. Everything was fine with the bass. But uh, anyway, we're gonna get back out there and try to hook up on another one that size. So let's. Pick up another pack of these Jolly Bait Company Green and Orange Flake Helgramites. I got it right that time. Man. Yes, sir. I was talking about I have to go to the river with these things because they're so bright. I just decided today, I was like, well, no, I'll just come to the pond with them. And it's a good thing I did. Yeah, man, I set the hook on that fish, and I, I felt it. it. This right here was loose, and I, I didn't want to. I was like, it's going to break my rod, because I, I knew the, not my rod, but the reel was going to come out. Yeah, I didn't know it was that loose. It had gotten a little bit. I mean, it wasn't loose, loose, but, you know, it was definitely like, oh, no, like, my reel is going to fall off. First gen jaw dropper. Well, there goes fishing on this side. Yeah. 
I bet I cast right behind them and still catch fish on it. Ain't nothing to it but to try it. I ain't gonna hit him. I ain't gonna hurt him. That's on a little custom bait I tied up right there. Pretty cool. Oh. Oh, well, he's, he's really dirty. Oh yeah, he's really dirty. You need to get back in the water. You're really dirty. Even though we're not supposed to keep crappy in this pond. It's supposed to take them out. Me and, me and my buddy are going to start maintaining this pond and trying to get it to grow and do like it should with bass progression and things like that well that's nice caught one on my my own little bait i tied up there of course he's hung on like one little piece of grass well he ate the piece of grass too or something what in the world there we go Well, she'll be like, why'd you throw that bass so hard? Keep him pinned. I'm coming, G. Keep him oh, pinned. no. How big is he, dude? You see him? I should've just got in the water. Man, he was right there. Yeah, now I feel bad. That's all good, hey, Josh. Moto Moto, like you. 